on the lazy geckos. We cruised south along the Florida coast by using the ICW. We showed you our technique for setting our anchor. We also talked a little bit about our Senna Bluetooth headsets, aka marriage savers. You got to see Fiesta, our drone in action while we anchored in Mosquito Lagoon. Before we continued our journey towards Miami for our Bahamas cruising. While traveling the ICW, there are times you have to motor and times you can sail its beautiful waterway. And we've enjoyed every step so far. Right now I'm following the chart plotter and our active captain, our skipper app, which combines with active captain to go down the ICW. It's low tide right now, we draw six, so I try my best to stay on the little pink line that it's provided through the app. And I, I try to hug, you know, whatever side it says to hug, and really I'm just trying to keep us from hitting the ground, which the channel's bigger than it appears on the line, so really it's not that big of a deal. We uh, decided that I'm going to spend more time at the helm so I can get a little bit more comfortable with different situations and dealing with other boaters, the radio going off, stuff like that, because God forbid something happened to Jeremiah, I need to operate this bad boy on my own, which makes me very happy that we stayed so long because I learned so much about our rope. I feel like I could operate it. You are operating. No, but like fully. But I'm happy we're gone, but I enjoyed our stay. Tell everybody, this is what I do while mommy and daddy handle the boat. I eat yummy treats, I sing and dance, and I watch TV. You have the light, kid. The best moments are like this. Completely alone, miles away from anyone. Completely awesome. All right, you okay. did good getting the anchor up. It was really windy last night. We were all over the place. And uh, I'll tell you, the boat was making all kinds of strange noises, but like, I felt like maybe we were rubbing something under the water or something. It was windy. And we were in a really unprotected anchorage, which is fine, whatever. So Brittany sleeps all night long, and I wake up constantly with my little alarm tracker, or my anchor tracker it tells me, you know, if we slip, and you know, sometimes you kind of move out of the circle so it goes off, so you know, you just check and make sure everything's legit. But up all night, anyway. Got up and it was windy, and I was second guessing going. Yeah, we got up around six. I was second guessing going, and uh, they started calming down, and we decided to go ahead and pull the dinghy engine up. And it was all good, but I forgot to unhook the fuel line. And then as soon as we got it off, I was like, I realized it. As soon as, we did, as, soon as the dinghy popped, off, or the engine popped off the dinghy, I realized it, and it freaking rip the fitting off yeah that's our car so now we can't run our car I, so I fixed this but uh so Bella's holding it no we'll, 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 we'll let her go we have a little pad that we let her go on apparent winds only three we're moving at 5.2 so it's like eight knots of wind behind us this night and as soon as we got out of that anchorage it calmed right down of course it's cold Florida's not always warm that's why we're going south man that's a mighty sexy outfit you got going on Right? I even have slippers. Uh, those are really good boat shoes. You're going to hear about that from all the internet people. Those slippers, are the appropriate shoes. Sailing gloves. Oh, look. And nails. They're all getting jacked up. Nice. Well, I'm the anchor girl. It, it is pretty bad weather, even though it doesn't look like it. So, you know, put this on, even though I'm just pulling up the anchor. But I was, like, back and forth. This is Jeremiah's old Marine Corps. Um, PT gear, so it's good for windbreaker, but I also have my beautiful sweater. <laughs> yeah, good. You're not always in bikinis. Right. It's not always fun and games, or is right. it? <laughs> it looks like I'm wearing a huge diaper. I'm not done. From the back. Oh, it's fine. You look beautiful. So in the midst of all this uh, crappy weather, we put out the jib sail, and we are strictly sailing. Right now we're going about five knots. 
This is the most comfortable sailing, they say, because the wind's coming from your stern, which is called, um, you're going, what? Running. You're running. So, uh, feels pretty good. You know, we didn't think we were gonna leave the anchorage, we left, and now we're sailing. Not motor sailing. <laughs> uh, feels good, we're at our second reefing point, and we're new moving pretty nicely. You satisfied? Yeah, beautiful. A lot of people will motor sail, which means you're running your motor and you're sailing at the same time. Now if you think about it, those are both your power sources on a sailboat and they each have a limited lifetime or a, they have a lifespan that's going to run out. So why use them at the both, both at the same time? So we choose, you know, if we can just sail and keep five knots, that's, that's what we like to average, five. Um, why would we use our motor at the same time? So that's what we're doing. We usually just sail if we can. We never really thought about that until somebody that follows us along emailed us and they really explained it very nicely, better than I probably could. And they're the ones that really let us know not to do that and we couldn't agree with them more and it really makes sense in the end. Bacon, egg, and cheese smoked muffin now. Yeah, no kidding. So tell us, like, is it a beautiful sail? Yeah, man, it's awesome. It's downwind, we're running downwind. How fast are we going? Right now, 4.4. Okay. Slow down a little bit, but it's because we're making a little turn here. No speed up. The weather was completely crappy this morning. Uh, and it still is. We're having a beautiful sail, a beautiful breakfast, and a beautiful time. And now we're gonna eat our lovely food. You helping daddy? Yeah, you're a good helper. This was hooked up to the engine. This is to the, there's like a little strainer and uh, the hose ripped off. And the hose is also too short now. It was barely, like it barely reached it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a new hose on. We have tons of extra parts. I'm just gonna, this one isn't gonna work with what we have. I already have a new one of these on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this part off. Ta-da! So this will go where the old one was. Don't make me mad, honey. I'll just let go of the dinghy. Okay. I had to replace the that tube that's sitting on top of the fuel can yeah. or fuel tank. Just that. I had to re put that fitting on that tube and attach it. Pretty easy. Nice. So now we'll drop the motor on there and hopefully we're good. Bella, you ready to go potty? Work. You have a freaking sweater on and I'm out here. You have no idea. Oh no, that's why I said I'm not doing it. Mm, what's the temperature? Cold. Like 60? Uh, probably about 59 and very, about 20 knot wind. Oh my gosh! It just makes it colder when you see the temperature. Oh man, just think about the 20 knot wind coming off the ocean. Oh, it's very windy. Breathing. It looks real cold when you're doing it. <gasps> oh my goodness. Well, you could be using the... <laughs> I have snot coming out. I think I might just run the hot water heater and use that one. I agree. Are you serious? Next time on The Lazy Geckos. We get some company along our journey.
we show you a new addition to our lazy gecko, and we get a little personal with you. Oh, and we also get bombarded by kiteboarders, which is so cool. enjoy the videos that we bring to you then please join us on Patreon or you can always drop us some love via PayPal by visiting our blog at www.lazygeckos.net. Vimeo viewers get all the behind the scenes action.